Despite a summer full of promising transfers and a general feeling of goodwill surrounding Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Ineo's new minority stake in the club, Manchester United have not got off to a great start in the Premier League. Eric Ten Hag's side beat Fulham at home, but then lost back-to-back -back games against Brighton and Hove Albion and Liverpool before picking up their second win away to newly promoted Southampton. However, while there isn't much to cheer about in the immediate future for the Red Devils, they do look to be on the right path off the pitch, and with exciting youngsters like Ahmad Diallo and Alejandro Garnacho becoming increasingly important in the squad, the future looks bright. That said, Garnacho may have to start looking over his shoulder in the not-too-distant future, as United have an exciting youngster coming up through the academy who could eventually challenge him for a place in the team. Garnacho's recent form While Garnacho broke into the first team during the 21-22 campaign, the last two seasons have seen him develop from a fringe youth player into an essential part of the first team and someone with plenty of promise. For example, in 22-23, the Madrid-born gem made 34 first-team appearances, totaling 12.05 minutes, in which he scored five goals and provided five assists, meaning he averaged a goal involvement once every 3.4 games or every 120.5 minutes. Last season saw his involvement in the team significantly increase, and he made 50 first-team appearances, totaling 3,574 minutes, in which he scored 10 goals, including that screamer at Goodison Park and provided five assists, equating to a goal involvement on average every 3.33 games or every 238.2 minutes. This year, the seven-cap international looks set to remain a key figure in Ten Hag's squad, and as things stand, he scored two goals and provided one assist in five appearances, totaling 171 minutes, across the league and community shield, which is an average of a goal involvement once every 1.66 matches or 57 minutes. In all, Garnacho is one of the most exciting and promising players in this United squad, but he could soon have some more competition from a youngster coming up through the academy. Why fans should be excited about Shea Lacey Yes, the young academy prospect in question is 17-year-old Shea Lacey. The Liverpool-born winger has been turning heads in the Red Devils youth setup for some time now, and while he's still so young, he was rewarded with his first professional contract in April this year. Like Garnacho, the incredible attacker, as dubbed by talent scout Yasek Kulig, can play in a few positions on the pitch, including left wing and attacking midfield, but has played the most off the right, where he loves to cut in and use his stronger left foot. Lacey's youth record. Team, U18S. Youth League. Appearances, 23. Goals, 5. 0. Assists, 5. 1. Goal involvements per match. 0.50, 0.33, all stats via Transfermarkt. Over the last two seasons, the dynamic youngster has made 23 appearances for the youth sides, scoring five goals and providing six assists, meaning he's maintained an average of a goal involvement every 2.09 games, primarily from the wings. Unfortunately for the very, very special player, as BBC Sports' Alex Turk dubbed him, he suffered a thigh injury in October last season which disrupted his campaign and saw him spend 161 days on the sideline. However, the good news is that he's now back to full fitness and, with his new contract, has the chance to continue his development and hopefully push for the odd inclusion in the first team. Ultimately, while it's still early days and his injury has seen his development slowed somewhat, Lacey looks like he is what it takes to make it at United, and who knows, in a few years, he could be challenging Garnacho for a place in the starting lineup.